Hello and welcome to Lean Excel Solutions. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to create a dynamic and interactive sunburst chart in Excel, complete with slices to filter your data seamlessly. This step-by-step -step guide will help you visualize your hierarchy data in a visually compelling way. But before we jump in, let's take a moment to understand what a sunburst chart is. A sunburst chart is a powerful visualization tool used to represent hierarchy data. It displays data in a circular layout with multiple levels, where each level is represented by a ring or circle. The innermost circle represents the top level data, and each subsequent ring represents a deeper level of the hierarchy. Each segment size is proportional to its value, providing a clear visual comparison between different parts of the hierarchy. Here are some examples where we can use this chart. Market segmentation, representing different market segments, customer demographics, and their subcategories. Sales data, representing sales data by region, product category, and individual products. Product categories, visualizing product categories, subcategories, and individual products. File system hierarchy, displaying the structure of directories and files on a computer or server. Geographical data, visualizing data by continent, country, region, and city. And many more. Now, let's take a look at the dataset, which we are going to use for the demonstration. This is sample sales data, which includes the date in the first column, followed by the country of sales. Then we have product, product feature, and product version to represent the product category's hierarchy. Lastly, we have the sales amount. Next, let's discuss how we are going to represent this data visually. We could prepare the chart to include both country and product categories, but instead, we will focus on the product hierarchy only, which includes product, product feature, and product version. And we will use month and country as slices to make the chart interactive and filter the data for deeper insights. With that understanding, let's dive into the process of creating a dynamic and interactive chart. To start with, select any cell within the input data table, go to the insert tab, and select Pivot Table. Click OK, and it will add the Pivot Table to a new sheet. Let's rename this sheet as Pivot. Now, from the Pivot Table fields, select Product, Product Feature, Product Version, and Sales Amount. Let's deselect the subtotals to have clearer data. Now, to make it truly interactive, we will add slices for the month and country. Go back to the Insert tab and click on Slicer. Select the date and country options to add them as slices. However, you'll notice the date slicer is in a daily date format, and we need it to be in months. Let's delete the date slicer. Here's a trick to add months to the slicer. Temporarily, add the date field to the rows or columns section in the pivot table. Doing so will automatically ungroup the date into months, days, and dates. After ungrouping, deselect these fields from the pivot table layout, but they will remain available in the field list. Next, go back to the Insert tab, click on Slice it again, and this time, you'll see month as an available option. Add the month to your slicer. Let's enhance the usability of our slicer by changing its display to two columns. Additionally, you can hide items without data and customize the slicer heading. To do this, right-click on the slicer and select Slicer Settings. Or click here. In the settings, change the caption to update the heading. 
and check the box labeled hide items with no data. And there you have it. With these slices in place, you can now seamlessly filter the data in your pivot table. Now, this configuration gives us the expected data layout for our chart. However, there are a few challenges with this setup for our requirements. Like, select a cell within the pivot table, go to the insert tab, and click on recommended charts. Select the sunburst chart, and you will see that the it cannot be added directly with the pivot table. Instead of using the pivot table directly, we could create a standard table with the fields product, product feature, and product version, and use the sumifs function to extract the sales amount. However, in that case, it would be difficult to add slices for filtering the data, as the slices are linked with the pivot table. To overcome these challenges, we will adopt a different approach that enables us to add a sunburst chart, along with the capability to filter data using slices. We will create a separate table for our chart, and instead using sumifs function, we will utilize the getPivotData function. This function will act as a bridge between pivot table and data for the chart, allowing us to keep the slices functional. Before that, let's make a small adjustment to the pivot table. Go to the Pivot Table Design tab and under Report Layout, choose Repeat All Item Labels. This ensures all label details are displayed. Now, select the label ranges from the Pivot Table and copy them to a separate location. To get the sales amount using the getPivotData function, we don't need to write complex formula manually. Instead, in the first cell of our table, simply type an equal sign and then click on the first cell under the sales amount column in the pivot table. Excel will automatically populate the formula for you. However, if you copy this formula down, you'll notice the values stay the same. We need to make it dynamic, so it updates for each product configuration. To make it dynamic, we will make some changes to the formula. Let's go to the first cell and take a look at the formula structure. The first argument is the data field, which is sales amount in our case, from which we are pulling data. Next is the reference to the pivot table, typically the top left cell of the pivot table. Following that, we have pairs of fields and items. In our case, we are referring to three fields, first product, then product feature, and last product version. For the items, you will see it is referring to product one from the pivot table for the product field. Since the product feature and version are blank for product one, those fields are empty here. To make our formula dynamic, we will replace the item values in the formula with cell references from our table. Select item 1 in the formula and replace it with the corresponding cell in our table that contains the product name. Do the same for item 2 and item 3 for the product features and versions respectively. Now, when you copy this formula down, it will automatically update the sales amount for each product configuration based on the corresponding details in your table. Let's now bring the slices we added. We can see the data is updated based on the slicer selections. However, we can observe errors for empty data points in the table. Let's fix this by using the if error function.
Next, we can add the chart with this data. Select all data using shortcut key. Then add the chart. However, you'll notice that it includes blank data in the chart, which we don't need. The blanks are mainly in the feature and version columns. To clean this up, select the data within these columns, press Ctrl plus H to open the Find and Replace window. Type blank within the bracket in the Find box and replace all with nothing. Now we have another issue, if any of the cells in these two columns are empty, the corresponding sales amount values doesn't appear. To solve this problem, let's update our formula. We will use the if function for item 2 and item 3 values. We'll tell the formula to use blank within the bracket if the cell is empty, otherwise use the actual value. Let's copy the same logic for item 3 and replace C3 with D3. Now drag the formula down and it works perfectly. Finally, you can customize the chart to your liking by adjusting colors, labels, and styles. you can further improve its visualization. Here is a final tip. If you add more data to your original table, simply refresh the pivot table to update the chart and slices automatically. However, if you add entirely new products, features, or versions, you'll need to refresh the pivot table, copy the new data like before, and update the formula range and chart data range if necessary. With that, we've completed a dynamic and interactive sunburst chart. I hope this video was helpful. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Excel tips and tricks.